Thank you, MC. Honorable Bosch Pakop, Governor of uh, NCD. Louis, uh, sorry, Louis, lawyer, supporter, no, uh, yeah, supporter of uh, West Papua. Brothers and sisters, people of West Papua, people of Papua New Guinea, uh, today, me get big blahama maslo me, uh, come sun up long here, uh, but me talk as a maggie maslo people of West Papua. Anyway, let me put it that way. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Governor, long look survey was a me one blouse that is stuff inside long this blab. Uh, uh, Papua New Guinea, now you recognize me now. You uh, keep inviting me long, me come long here, me, me talk thank you. Now, all uh, committee blow you. As that has all me kiss him this blab. Uh, invitation now, time me look in this blab, but. Me put him straight now me run long town because I was proud. <laughs> now me go, me no rouse him said, me sleep. One time this plus said because uh, me feel him in Narbla kind straight. Eh? But anyhow, let me introduce myself. Uh, I am a mixed blooded uh, man who is standing here, father from Papua New Guinea and mother, mother from West Papua. I come from the border of Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, where my land is on that side. And to be very fact, as the governor has spoken, the people of West Papua are dying silently, without anyone in Papua New Guinea or outside Papua New Guinea, outside West Papua and outside Indonesia, knowing how they are suffering. The suffering that they have faced for the last 40 years or so, it is beyond what men can talk about. As a person who grew up from West Papua, I've experienced which others would, would not know. And it is a very hard cry for me. A hard cry of mine. And I've been, I think I've spoken before I became parliamentarian. I said, when I'm in the in parliament, I will be just one of those who will be speaking about West Papua. Let me commend you for having you to be the founder of this program. Let me assure you, I will stand with you. When you welcome me, I thought I would have to welcome you into the program because I'm part of that West Papua. Let me just say a few things here. Today, as I always say, there is no refugees. In Western province, I always say, I am not going to listen to anybody or hear anyone saying, Refugees. There is no refugees. They are called West Papua. I spoke in Holiday Inn. I said, while standing here, I'm seeing no boundaries. There is no line drawn from the sky into the, to the ground and beneath the land. There is no line. The people of West Papua and Papua New Guinea, we are one. One blood, one people, one land. And the question is, who divided us? For what reason? Yes, Papua New Guinea, we've got independence, and true, but let me say this. A young, a young girl who is about 10 years, if she is given to a man, that girl does not know how to look after the house in terms of management. We are happy, but Papua New Guinea, if West Papua is given independence, I believe they have come through that struggle. They are prepared, only ready, long take on. They are prepared. 
The land of West Papua is God's given providence. It, it, it is, and it was not a mistake. God is giving this black ground, Wara, bush, na, minerals, na, all the resources in southern West Papua. It is God's given providence. Therefore, they have the rights of ownership and they will live black and they will die black. And the future generation continue into the future. Therefore, my appeal to the 